You're looking to beat your porn addiction for good, but you keep on failing after a week or two. Now in this video, you'll learn a special technique that will help you to quit your porn addiction for good. Most of you are subscribed, so hit that subscribe button, it's free, and uh, buy my ebook if you wanna learn more about quitting porn addiction. Now in order for this technique to work, I want you to imagine a story with me together. Imagine that you are in this David and Goliath story. You're David and you're battling against Goliath. Now Goliath here represents your sexual urges that you're trying to get rid of. Now you know for a fact that if you rely on your physical strength in order to beat Goliath, you will definitely lose, right? Because Goliath is much bigger than you and you really have to keep your distance at all time. But most of us already knew what happened at the end. David won the battle against Goliath because he fought smartly. He fought smart because he distanced himself from Goliath and then using a slingshot, he slung a rock and he hit Goliath directly in the head, killing Goliath immediately. Now this pretty much goes the same way when you're looking to battle your very own sexual urges or quitting your porn addiction. Because if you go hand in hand with your sexual urges, you will definitely lose bro. I mean let's just imagine this. You're sitting in a room all alone, right? And then there's a laptop in front of you with a web browser opening right now. So the urges came in and what are you gonna do? Telling yourself that I will not fab, I will not fab, I will not touch my dick. That's not how it works, bro. <laughs> I mean, unless you have a very good willpower, then it might just work. But let's just be honest here. Willpower won't really last forever, right? Because it pretty much worked the same way as motivation. It comes and goes at some point. Again, David won the battle against Goliath because he fought smart. And the way you fought smart in this nofap journey is by distancing yourself, by making yourself busy. You probably heard this from many people on nofap already. And that's just true and it works. All those hours, every single day browsing for the perfect porn video now use that free time to take a walk in the park to go to the gym read some books learn about a high income skill and set these new habits consistently but look this will not work 100% because you will still relapse even after you apply this method because here's the thing your brain will constantly negotiate and reason with you to eventually relapse since you're on nofap and you're not allowed to watch porn your brain will negotiate with you by telling you hey just type in your favorite porn star dressed in bikinis because hey it's not porn if she ain't naked, right? Not just that, bro. I don't know if you can relate to this, but when you're on social media, your brain will also tell you these things, bro. Hey, how about browsing that Instagram model that does OnlyFans? You know, you don't have to go through her OnlyFans account, you know? Just, uh, uh, <laughs> what the f Just watch her reels of her dancing explicitly or doing some explicit sh you know? It's not porn and you don't touch yourself, right? All right, I'm done with this. <laughs> Look, not only you're filling your brain with dopamine, but following all these stupid voices inside your head will eventually lead you to a relapse. So how do we actually prevent this from happening? Now the sad truth is that you cannot prevent this thing from happening. I mean, let me ask you a question. How can you stop a thought? I mean, let's just put it to a test. If I tell you to not think of a white elephant, you already think of a white elephant by now, right? Because I've been on NoFap for more than 100 days. You cannot prevent a thought, but you can learn to control that thought. What I found is that the more I'm able to control my thought, the less I tend to relapse on my NoFap journey. So how do we actually control our thoughts? Like monks would do that, right? And the answer is yes, you actually have to do this one simple habit and that is meditation. Look, it's it's just crazy how very few people have talked about this because it just works tremendously well for me and by simply just doing meditation forget about going to the gym or cold showers whatever good habits that you've been trying to set right although you should do those things but meditation is the best habit that you can start to cultivate if you want to win on nofap so if you want to start meditating but you don't know how to do it you simply find a quiet place to sit where you feel relaxed and alert now close your eyes take a full deep breath in hold it for a few moments before releasing that breath now you can do the same thing again breathe in now while you're doing so, imagine that the air is filling your lungs and circulating around your body. Now when you release it, imagine the air is coming out either from your nose or your mouth. So do this a couple of times, you can do it for 10 minutes. Now when you're doing this, your mind will start to wander to maybe your dog or the next task that you should do. Your job is to simply acknowledge these thoughts and then slowly put your focus back 
to the breath. Now you simply repeat this simple procedure for like the next five minutes or 10 minutes and you can pause this video. I've relapsed a lot of times and if you were to ask me like what was the cause of my relapse and I would say 95% of the time it really started from my very own thought. The thought of picking that Instagram model, the thought of searching for explicit images and the thought of touching your PP just a little bit for fun. <laughs> Whenever you follow this subtle thoughts that don't seem harmful, it will actually lead you to a much bigger urge and eventually lead you to a relapse. It's like, let's just imagine this. You're stranded on an island with no food and water, and you're thirsty after three hours of stranded on that island. Instead of finding the real source of water, you know that drinking salt water is much more convenient because it's literally there just in front of your eyes. But we all know that the more you drink salt water, the more thirsty that you will get. And the best thing to do is to not drink that water in the very first place and find find a real source of water instead. Now let's just step back to reality. This is the golden rule of NoFap. The more you practice this self-control, the easier you will go through NoFap. Although, truth be told, it might take you several relapses. For me, I, I relapsed like a lot of times, like countless of times, I can't even count on my hand before I actually found the golden point to succeed on NoFap. I wrote more about how you can succeed on NoFap, so go check and buy my ebook, link in description below. And uh, remember, if you go easy in life, then love be hard. But if you go hard in life, then life will be easy. Find comfort in discomfort. See you next video. Cheers.